Hello and welcome to CP Van. I'd like to introduce you to our new outdoor 1080p IP camera. And that is what it looks like on the box. It's waterproof rated to IP66 rating. This model is the CP ODR IP C6. And let's have a look at the box. Sorry about it, it's a bit crumpled. It's a 1080p. The sensor size is, as you can see there, and the pixel is 2 megapixel. Video compression H.264. It's got night vision distance of 25 meters. And there's all these uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi connection. Supports um, a micro. It's like a sports a TF card up to 128 gigabytes, which is not included, so you need to buy one. You can source them on the internet very cheaply. And it supports it supports iOS or Android and Windows. So depending on what system you've got, you can download the app for the QR code to download the app, whichever system you're on. Okie dokie, let's open the box and see what's inside. This is the first time I've opened the box, so we're learning together. So let's have a look. Oh, look at that. You get the user manual. Look at that, it's very simple. It's a user manual. Tells you how to set up things and register and all sorts. It's got a sticker, CP Van. It's all about security. One sticker. And what have we got here? We've got the, well, look at that. It's got an extra long cable, so you can position your CCTV um, quite conveniently. You've got power supply with a little bit more cable here as well. So that's, that's amazing. And then let's get a have a look. Oh, you've got some fixtures, some screws and little things there. And in this box, what have we got here? We've got the um, the aerial antenna, which you can screw on the back. And the beauty. You've got the cable here. So you can fit that to the wall with the cable coming out through there. This, you can use an Allen key to move this up and down. That's your antenna. You undo this hatch here to put your micro SD card inside. And as you can see here, you've got some detail for your camera. Camera's ID and MAC code and all that. So once you've mounted it, you might want to peel this off and stick it in a safe place. You don't want anyone, intruders, to know all this information. If you look at the front, you can see this beautiful camera lens inside this protective glass for all the infrared illuminations that will come on. And you've got this little ledge here, protects it from rain. And it's quite a lightweight unit, it's very handy and portable. Well, this is the unboxing video. I will make a separate video on how to how to um, download the app and register and bind it with your CCTV camera. How to download the app and bind your phone with the um, camera to make it work. So let me show you the box just to refresh your memory. That's the box that I showed you in the last program and with the cable because I'm just testing it indoors first so what I do is I connect this cable so that enables me to to uh, sit by my desk and figure out how it works show you what needs to be done so I'm just going to connect this to here I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to put the little tiny micro SD card 
into the slot so when you come back it'll already have been done um, I've taken the hatch off as you can see there's a little slot there for you to put your micro SD card so assuming it's this way just try yep pushes in and then you just screw the hatch back on so I'll be back again Okay, dokie. Um, when you get to the stage where it tells you to keep your phone close to your CCTV camera, don't leave it like this. Sometimes it might take a couple of times to transmit the sound, sound wave for it to connect. So what I've found was because my beep, beep, beep seems to emanate from the bottom, for example, if on my phone, the beep, beep, beep comes from the lower end, bottom end of my phone. I will put that near to the speaker there and that seems to have done the trick because sometimes if you leave it in front if you leave it on the side it's not strong enough the signal so I found that on my phone the Samsung it works when I put it near to the base of the that part of the camera and then keep it there keep it very still and then once you pass your sound waves part and once it's on the connecting menu keeping in the same orientation keep still and it should tell you that the binding was okay or you'll be able to see on your phone screen well I've eventually sorted out the CCTV problem a lot of you might not be able to bind with your CCTV camera next to your phone that might be due to you running um, the, um, the very fast 5 gigahertz broadband um, fiber optic broadband um because what because i've just upgraded mine so what i've done is i've logged onto my broadband um, ip address and i've created a 2.4 gigahertz channel so i've got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on my network and when you go into once you've set that up your camera should be able to locate it so when you set up on Netsy, when you press on the top, on the left of the IP camera where it says, and it says connecting my camera, you press it down below, connecting my camera. Please enter the Wi-Fi password. Obviously you'll need your Wi-Fi name and your password. On your mobile phone, make sure you're using your home's Wi-Fi. So when the Wi-Fi is, when you're using your home's Wi-Fi, don't type in the Wi-Fi name but click on the select option to locate your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Because if you just select it and find the five gigahertz, it will not bind with the camera because the camera cannot support five gigahertz channel. So that's one of the main problems. And then once you type in your Wi-Fi password, press next, and then it'll ask you to put your phone, put the speaker over your phone on loud right next to your underside of your CCTV camera, the outdoor one. You can see the little speaker grill, the little hatch. Hold everything steady and close together. And all, when it goes beep, 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 give it some time. It'll, con it'll bind with the, it'll connect with the um, CCTV. And then when it goes onto the next menu, connecting, once it's announced connecting, and then on your, on your phone, it'll tell you is if it's binded or not and to, to carry on forward to the next step. So if I go back now, you can see the lower camera is the my other CP, CP van indoor camera. And the upper window should be, is my outdoor camera which I've not obviously not installed outside yet, but I'm just trying to make it work. Oh, there's no SD card inside, so obviously you can't see, but it works anyway. So that's this little segment sorted. Well, um, another thing is, once you've gone onto this menu, which you see, you might be waving a camera about. How come it doesn't work? You have to tap, touch the screen, you know, the, the one on the top where we've got the tablecloth. 
once I touch it with my fingers, it'll refresh itself. And as you can see there, my outdoor CCTV is working. So that's another thing you need to do. So if you didn't touch the screen, you might think it's not working. So it's working fine. And if I hold it to the window, let's see how it copes. That's when you put it in towards a window and it's dark, the infrared light comes on, as you can see there. So I'm going to open my side window where I've got a catch there because the reflections doesn't do the thing any good. So I'm going to open my side window. I'm going to pull the camera out and the infrared should come on. There we go. The infrared should come on and you can see it gives a very clear image. I'm really, I'm really pleased with this. And look at that. It can even pick up the house in distance, which is <laughs> quite far away. Right, I think I'll just leave this little clip as it is. And if I bring it indoors, obviously with the lighting and all that, the infrared will come out, will switch off, and you've got colour. That's wonderful.